What are the lessons one should learn in stock market investing? What are the commonly made mistakes in stock market investing? So let us get into the details. Remember, when a stock price goes up without a reason, there is a high probability that the price will come down without any reason. One should take everything the management says with not only a grain, but a bag full of salt. Evaluate the stock at its current price. Remember, you need to ask yourself this question. Would you invest now if you did not have any previous or prior investments in the stock? Do not let the past influence your present action. Never be a victim of the sunk cost fallacy. Another common mistake is selling good stocks since the price to the earning ratio is high. Another mistake is selling good stocks during a bear market or selling good stocks too early. Remember, do not trade. Hold on to good stocks. Now, before you sell or you decide to sell a good stock, you need to ask yourself the following questions. Why do I want to sell this stock? Is there any better company in the same sector or a different sector? Will the product of this company be obsolete in the near future? Is there a problem in the management of this company? Remember, never day trade or invest in options or futures without doing a proper study. Another mistake people make is they buy cheap stocks. Remember, Cheap stocks are normally a value trap. Another mistake people make is they, they trade, that is day trade. Now, you need to basically, uh, you know, know what you're doing when you're day trading because you could lose a lot of money. So my suggestion is it's advisable to use some sort of a virtual software, you know, before you start trading. When I'm, what I mean by a virtual software is you need to do mock trading. Mock trading is you don't actually put actual money. It's like virtual money. So once you get good at it, then you can you know move into your live account. Now, another mistake is when you're losing money, don't just try to, you know, uh, average. That is, don't have the aim of recovering the money. Just dump the stock if the fundamentals are weak or the technicals are both are, the technicals and fundamentals are weak. Remember, investment is not about revenge. I repeat, investment is not about revenge. It is about compounding. Watching television and doing trade based on breaking news is a bad strategy. Actually, the news media, you know, in India is completely sold out to various vested interests, in my opinion, especially the financial news media. Remember, taking any action based on media reports is likely to leave you with a big hole. Buying a company or a stock just because a big investor like Rakesh Junjunwala has bought the stock is not a great idea. Normally, these big investors basically tend to sell the stock, you know, uh, and before they sell the stock, they will, you know, go into the media and they say, oh, this is a great stock, buy the stock. So when you're buying the stock, they're selling the stock. This is a very important point you need to remember. You know, this happens all over the world, not just in India. 
Now, next mistake is buying a stock just because it is trading at a low PE or has a low intrinsic value. Now, remember, a stock which has a low PE, the price to earnings ratio, has a low price to earnings ratio for a reason. You know, maybe the management, it's got a poor management or the results are poor. It has low earnings. There's a drop in earnings. There could be a drop in profit. There could be a drop in the growth. The stock could be facing a problem, right? So basically you need to evaluate a stock just because it's low trading at a low P or a low intrinsic value doesn't mean it's a good buy. And that's one of the mistakes that including myself I've made in the past. You use a, you know, a screener, a stock screener and you screen a stock based on low P and then you, you think, oh, it's a good buy. Let's, let's buy the stock, which is, it's, it's a very bad idea. Now, this is an interesting point. The next one, buying a stock since the promoters are promising a lot of orders in the pipeline. This has happened in the past. A company called Bharti Shipyard, you know, promoters started promising a lot of orders. They said they had a lot of orders in the pipeline and then the stock went up. But actually, they were just pipeline, you know, you know, they were not lying, but they, 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 they thought they'll get these back, these orders, but they didn't. So the fundamentals were not very strong. OK, and then what happened? The stock tanked. Now the price of the stock tanked. The next point is mistake is buying too late or selling too early. So you need to have patience. Always look at the charts, you know, which will tell you it will help you to decide the entry and the exit points, when to buy the stock and when to sell the stock. Even if you're selling or buying a fundamentally strong companies, it is advisable to use the charts, especially to determine the entry and the exit points. The next common mistake is to delay booking of losses, although you see serious flaws in the company. Whenever you see serious flaws in the company, sell the stock, book your losses, or even if you have profit, smaller profits, book your profits. The failure to evaluate the both the quantitative and the qualitative analysis of company is not a good strategy. You need to always evaluate quantitative and qualitative analysis if you're buying a stock for the long term. The failure to leave out emotions out of investing is not a good idea. Emotions, uh, you know, it, you need to keep emotions out of investing. Trading rather than investing is another common mistake. You know, you tend to buy the same stock multiple times and overall you don't gain. Now, buying IPOs, that is the initial public offering with high valuation, is a bad idea. Example, Reliance Power in the past. The failing to exit cyclicals and the inability to book a 20% or 40% loss. I mentioned this before. Another mistake is selling good stocks like Hindustan Lever. The reason is it has reached the 52 week high or the all time high. This is a, one of the most common mistakes everyone has made. You know, everyone is guilty of this, including myself, is investing or buying a stock based on a tip from a friend or a broker or a relative. Never do this. I repeat, never buy a stock based on a tip from a friend or a broker or a relative. Never invest in companies you don't understand. Also, another common mistake is too slow to buy a stock even after doing a decent, uh, sorry, a decent research on a stock. You need to be quick. 
you need to have patience but you need to make also very quick decisions especially when the stock is trading at a discount never have the fear of missing out also call fomo never fomo another mistake is trying to over diversify in more than 20 or 30 stocks it's difficult to track 30 to 40 stocks and it's difficult to do research in 30 to 40 stocks so try to limit your portfolio to 5 to 10 or 15 stocks at the most you need to also understand portfolio allocation a lot of people do not understand this and make this mistake you need to bet big on multi bagger stocks i made this mistake is i did i bet i i know this is going to be a multi bagger stock but i bet small so this is another common mistake the uh, you know classic example was kei kei industries i had inside information information that this stock which was trading at 7 rupees would you know be a multi bagger but i didn't bet big rather i also exited the stock when it when it you know reached uh made a 2x or 3x gain this stock which was 7 rupees went on to hit an all time high of 50 uh, sorry 560 rupees and 80x gain so imagine if you invested 1 lakh you could make 80 lakhs another mistake is the investors do not stick to a particular investing strategy they tend to keep changing the strategy like for example they change from stocks to options and from options and futures back to stocks the next point is again i like to repeat is do not in, do invest based on your own research don't rely on tips another common mistake is buying stocks when the valuations are high remember stocks always revert to the mean another mistake is investors do not have any checklist or evaluation criteria before buying a stock i think this is a common mistake most investors make at least more than 80% of investors make this mistake another mistake is they never read the annual report of a company you need to do this as if you are the owner of a company you need to know how the company is run you need to read the annual report very important so investors tend to never look at the growth the profitability the earnings the debt ratios before buying a stock this is most critical you need to look at the growth i repeat the profitability the earnings the debt ratios before buying any stock so you need to look at the roa the return on equity uh, the return on assets the return on equity the return on capital in employed the return you know uh, uh, basically the profit after tax the compounded annual growth returns the debt to the equity ratios the interest coverage ratio the quick and the current ratio and the free cash flow these are very important now another mistake people do especially you know deciding the entry and exit points is they do not understand the basics of technical analysis it's very important to understand the basics of technical analysis you don't need to get too much into the technical analysis but you need to understand the basic there are very few uh, you know points you need to understand for example the moving average you know the simple and the exponential the 50 day 100 day 200 day moving average and the rsi and a few other indicators understanding the technical analysis helps you to decide or to determine the correct entry and the exit points for example you never buy a stock which is trading below the 200 day moving average if you're a long time investor or if you're a trader never buy a stock which is trading below the 50 day moving average 
another mistake people make is to buy stocks trading at a 50 day sorry 52 week low another mistake is trying to average that is buy more stock when there is a decline in the stock price basically you're trying to buy a, a business which is fundamentally weak buying stocks based on low PE and high PS is again not a good idea until and unless you research the company remember you're buying a business so there's no need to follow the stock price every day you know never do this a lot of people keep checking the prices daily you're buying a business imagine yourself as an owner you know if you're an owner of a business you should focus on the business you know how the business is doing rather than checking the value of the business every day would you check the value of the business what is the valuation today you won't do that if you're the owner so that's exactly how you need to behave if you're an investor you should look at you know the growth of the company understand the business of the company what are the segments how is the business growing or is it going down what are the risks in the market currently right what are the merits and demerits you know these are the things you need to look at the company and not the stock price I mean on a daily basis now greed, you, you know investors are greedy when the stock uh, price rises so don't be greedy in fact on the contrary when it stock gets overvalued sell and do not be greedy another mistake is investors are afraid when there is a decline in the stock price so they panic Taking futures positions using leverage money in addition to cash position is a bad idea. Getting married to a stock. Never get married to a stock. Stocks, I mean, I do agree that there are certain stocks which are buy and hold, you know, and never sell. You know, you hold for the lifetime. But, you know, if you, if you want to get good returns, you need to exit a stock you know after a certain time because stocks don't go up forever stocks go up and down good stocks tend to go up and come down you know they come they don't really drastically come down the stock price but they do come down so you need to book certain amount of profits you need to sell a stock you don't need to sell the home whole amount you're holding but you need to book profits you know after the stock is overpriced or overvalued so the common mistake people are make is they get married to a stock. They never sell a stock, even if the stock has gone up by more than 1000%. Not having the courage to buy a huge amount and not having the patience to hold on to the stock is another common mistake. Not understanding human psychology is another mistake. Finding multi-bagger stocks in a bull market is not a very good idea. You, in fact, you need to do the reverse. You need to find multi-bagger stocks in a sideways, sideways market or in a bearish market. You will get maximum return. And I repeat, the, another great mistake people make is they hold on to losers too long or they sell winners too early. So friends, these are some of the common mistakes investors make. So that's all I have for you for today. If you like the contents of this video, please support my channel. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.